Okay. Uh, so what do you want to do? Let's do an assault this time, I guess. Okay. So we storm the palace. Sure, why not? Okay. So um, this is the first um, chapter of, uh, let's say, a kind of strategy guide in English. So this is difficult. I mean, difficult. It's not obvious for me to explain strategy in another language that, than mine, because if it was in French, I mean, I'm bilingual French, but English is another thing. So I'm trying to uh, tell everyone every uh, tips I can give in every map in both sides. So Storm the Palace is a very quick map. So Xeno knows this because we play this 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 map like uh, hundreds of times to unlock the the last assault. Remember? And I don't want to remember it. <laughs> so f for an attacker. Um, the main tip I will always give is you must ignore the defender. You must go straight to your objective. And if there are important units like um, battle station, gunships, okay. But the rest just ignore because you are playing against time. And as a defender, I have to play with time. So don't wait as a defender. Go go to the, uh, to the person that is coming for you. Um, so you have to observe what it's the other one doing. So for example, Gizeno, it's doing the classical maneuver with the gunship. Maybe he will hit a, tr a tree and he did not. Okay, so he's doing what I'm always telling people to do. But there's um, something that he could mm, make better as a choice, because now he's not in cover to different from my missiles. So what I'm always um, proposing to the people that are playing like Exilvania is to hide um, behind the radar array and from that um, point to shoot the other two silo, silo missiles. Because you, you will you will try it next time when you will be ex Sylvania that you can shoot um, the two missile silos from the radar array and with the um, radar array you are covering from the AA missiles so it's the best spot to destroy all the three first objectives but now you have lost that uh, let's say surprise surprise advantage Okay. What? Ah. All, all my army was just following you. <laughs> like everyone. Okay, so now for example, um, the at attacker... Um, must not waste time trying to kill my units because my units will respawn on the HQ. So exactly, you have to attack the HQ as fast as possible. Try to destroy all the A guns so you, so your units have a clear way um, until the HQ. Okay.
A faca de faca. What? No, sir. Well, hello there. Do you want some barbecue? Okay, so one important thing is to find all the kits, health kits, and try to use them while you are dodging the the important uh, unit missiles or projectiles. So in this case is the the AA. I mean the no the gunships. Sorry. Okay. So you have to protect the A vehicle. Without the A vehicle, knowing that the gunship is responding like every 15 seconds, <laughs> uh, you have to really protect the AA because without the AA, you you can't you can't hide from the gunship. Check uh -oh. out. No. Ah. Come on, barbecue. Burn, baby, burn. This going fair, no. Burn, baby, burn. Ah, uh, you forgot to kill the left A gun. Yeah. So Xeno, you did well trying to go in very um, offensive with the with the gunship, but I think you you could win a lot of time hiding be uh, behind the radar array and destroying the missile silos uh, from behind the radar array because the whole structure of the radar array protects you from the A missiles. Okay, wrong button. So if you want we can play the other side so I can show how to play the other yeah. side. Do the other time. So um, every mission, like Storm the Palace, Cold War, etc., will be um, a single video. So each time we'll we'll play, um, it will be a um, single video for every for for every single um, mission. So I want to do this for co-op. I will do this for a Sultan skirmish. So it would be twelve videos, like in like my original strategy guide in Spanish. But I always like to do this in English because a lot of people um, are searching for advice and tips, but they don't know how to speak Spanish. <laughs> and it's a uh, lot more easier when you can understand what it's saying and not only watching what the um, person is doing. Okay, so there you saw that I'm hiding before behind. So okay, so I'm hiding behind the radar array, so I can shoot the two missile silos, and at the same time protecting myself from from your um, A missiles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I stuck on oh, a rock?
Okay. Ah, uh, destruction. Okay. So I am trying to destroy the the A vehicle so I can Oh it's not destroyed, okay nice. How wonderful. So now I have to destroy all every defense in the HQ so I can uh, now everything is destroyed be careful with the flame oh there's no flame okay so try to use the assault when you don't when you're seeing the flame approach okay come on come on come on blitzkrieg blitzkrieg come on my man exylvania shall prevail my man <laughs> so with exylvania as you can, as, as you will see in my video, I mean for you, for everyone, um, while I'm destroying the three first objectives, I am sending my troops to destroy the the ground defenses on the HQ. Because um, a lot of people have, I are wasting time trying to destroy the the four first, the four the first four MG towers at the beginning in the in the main road before the three objectives. So that's a waste of time. And what did you, and what you did with your defenses was good because um, if you stayed at the first respawn with the units while I was advancing, I because I didn't kill anybody, all your units. If I moved uh, the spawn f uh, to the latest zone, to the HQ zone, uh, all your units uh, would be behind. So I was just. I would just capture the HQ like that, like with um, no defense in front. So what you did was good, going backward, watching that you won't be able to defend yourself. So you said, okay, I will give up uh, those three objectives and try to be try to defend the HQ. So you could defend your, yourself from one or two minutes, but this mission as a defender is very difficult if the Exylvania player is it's um, has a lot of skill with the gunship so it's normal to, I mean it's normal let's say to lose this one voila so this is the first chapter of um, the strategy guide so next chapter will be destroy all tundrons I mean one of the most long missions of the game and one of the most difficult in my opinion uh, because it asks you to be very careful and very patient and very um, yeah very careful with um, a lot of objectives at the same time with all the bombers and the radar array etc so see you next time